dressing us on this Fashion Friday. Today we chose some blazers with some trendy slim dress pants. Now these are great outfits for fall for those cool mornings and warm afternoons. Let me tell you, there have been a number of times when I'm walking down this station, it's cold and I'm in a yes. dress and my legs go numb. Yes. I need some nice dress pants and these definitely they're like kind of stretchy. They're super comfy. Right, and both of our them. shirts are great too because we can yeah. take the blazers off and it's, you know, for the warm afternoons. Yeah. But then in the morning you have the nice right, blazer. Right, because you know those days when you wake up and you're freezing and then you're mm -hmm. burning and you're ready to die by noon because exactly. it's too hot. Exactly. So if you haven't been, the Birdcage carries not only the latest trends but also carries a great selection of jewelry, purses, scarves, and more. The owner, Gwenda, is slow, uh, slowly began incorporating various items of clothing, and as demand grew, her boutique expanded to two locations. There is one here in Roanoke on Franklin Road, the other on College Avenue in Salem. Stop by or find out more on her website, thebirdcage.boutique. She's also on Facebook, or you can give her a call, 540-556-2421. Good quality stuff too. I know. I really love this. It's so cute, and mm -hmm. there's like little details with it on the arms, it's and really then I like cute. your little cutouts right there. Right. Yeah. I like the sharp angles. Yeah. But the quality of the fabric, yeah. you know, feeling it's really, really nice to wear. All right. Well, yesterday we mentioned a giveaway for tonight's Third Eye Blind concert, and we asked you to post on our Facebook page your favorite song for your chance to win a pair of tickets to tonight's concert, and we want to announce the winner. Congratulations to Holland James. Holland. Please stop by our station this afternoon and pick up your tickets and enjoy the concert. It's going to be a good one. Yeah, a little bit later we're going to check in with Erin Brookshire. She'll be downtown yeah. getting all the details that you need for tonight's concert. I'm pretty excited about that. Mm -hmm. uh, so as parents, we raise our children to be honest, trustworthy people. But also, as parents, there are times when the truth just doesn't cut it. A few classic lies that parents tell include telling your kids the ice cream truck is out of order, uh, or if you keep making that face, it'll freeze that way, or those animals on the side of the road are just sleeping. Sleeping. Sleeping, <laughs> right. Uh, Natalie, your kids mm -hmm. are at school. Yes. This is a safe place. Yes. What are some little white hopefully, lies that you tell? Hopefully that this is a safe place for our viewers as well. I know. But I have told a couple of fibs to my kids. <gasps> I'm In ready. order for them to eat their vegetables, I told them that their eyes will sparkle and they will be prettier if they eat their vegetables. Well, is that a lie? No. I mean, I mean actually, on. when you think about it, right? my daughter actually went so far as to ask for a mirror to look at herself while she's eating her broccoli to see. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I do the same thing with vegetables. I'll tell Cannon yeah. that... Um, well, I always tell him whatever he's into, so Spider-Man, dinosaurs, whatever, I'll be like, oh, Spider-Man eats that. Yeah, oh, that's and a good one. That get, it, it get, mm -hmm. oh, spi does Spider-Man oh, really? eat this? Yeah. I'm like, oh, yes, Spider-Man definitely eats does. that. Mm -hmm. But I feel like sometimes I'm a little too honest with, okay. like, if there's an animal on the side of the road, mm -hmm. I say, and he says, what's wrong with that deer? I go, I died. <laughs> I'm pretty honest. And it's then, dead. And I should probably lie when Cannon tells jokes, and they're, they're not funny. Not funny. Mm -hmm. I say, nah, not funny. Tell a different one. Oh, that's probably so mean. But I don't want him. I need him. I want him sharp. Yeah, I that's want him true. To find real fun. And he that's has right. come back and been like, how about this joke? Oh, and see? it's a funny one. And he knows that I'm being honest with him. That's really when he good. He really is funny. That's good. So I do like the. Um, I, we read some earlier today. Um, right. Somebody posted on our Facebook page. Thank you so much that they said. Um, Oh gosh, what was it? I was thinking about the ice cream truck. One person said um, that when you hear the music from the ice cream truck, that means that they're out of ice cream. Yes. <laughs> oh, when you hear it at all. Oh, I love that so much. I love it. Okay, well, you never know what kind of reaction you're going to get when you tell your child that he or she is going to become a big brother. So do you remember Cannon's reaction when you said that you were going to have he was going to be a big brother. Uh, he was excited and he wanted a brother. Mm -hmm. Okay. He didn't, he didn't get, get a brother. A brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think my little one was a little bit too, too yeah. young to really understand. But this probably takes the cake for best reaction. Take a look. Are you happy? Yes. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, 
she says that's so, so lovely. lovely. I know that I used the lovely, and he had that accent. That is so, so precious. Sweet. So that was, yeah, six-year-old Brayden, but that's one way for your older child to react. And here's another one. And guess what the doctor said? What? It's a boy. So, brothers, Jason Cannon had two very different reactions when it came to their new sibling. Sorry, buddy, you're going to be a middle child. Yeah.